This month, Russia became the first nation to tout a COVID-19 vaccine, but many are skeptical as they haven't followed the rigorous trial process that most nations follow. Here in the U.S., for example, even after successful trials are completed, there's another layer of approval by the FDA to make sure a vaccine is safe to use. Bob Woodruff explains in this week's Vaccine Watch. Last week in Russia, a sudden, unexpected announcement. Officials insisting the country has developed a safe and effective coronavirus vaccine. We expect registration of the first COVID vaccine in the world. We already are producing the vaccine. We will vaccinate some of our medical workers and teachers first. Massive uh, vaccination in Russia will start in October. This could be great news, but in the world of health and science, there is deep skepticism. Were I in Russia right now, I would not roll up my sleeves and get this vaccine for the simple reason that it hasn't been adequately tested. I mean, it may be safe and it may work, but why take that chance? Why do you have to be lucky? What has happened in Russia could never have happened here in the U.S., where approval comes only after safety and effectiveness is proven in what's commonly known as phase three human trials. This can require up to 30,000 volunteers. They've done one small phase one trial of 38 people, giving them a dose of the vaccine, and that's it. The proof is in the pudding. The pudding is in a phase three trial. And even with a successful phase three trial in the U.S. and most other countries, the next stop is to prove that the vaccine is safe to the government, the FDA and its outside expert its vaccine advisory committee. The FDA vaccine advisory panel is composed mostly of, of academics uh, in the broader community. They're not uh, FDA officials. And mostly we advise the FDA on whether we think a vaccine should be licensed or not. And in this case, I, I suspect we may be advising the FDA on whether we think it should be approved through emergency use authorization. The U.S. won't outpace Russia, but the FDA says it'll do all it can to get a safe vaccine approved after reviewing final stages of human trials. One of the things that we're doing to try to expedite the process is a rolling review. So we're looking at the data from the phase three, the latest clinical trials every week. Across the globe, six vaccine candidates are in phase three, two taking place in the U.S., and companies are looking for volunteers. And we're looking at who's being enrolled. Do you have elderly uh, volunteers? Do you have uh, racial um, and ethnic minorities uh, as, uh, volunteers in the trials? One recent volunteer, ABC News producer Gina Sinceri. Apparently they passed the initial exam, but they really want people who go to bars, go to beaches. The fact that I work outside the home and travel, uh, that makes me very desirable for this test. She is now a part of Pfizer's phase three trials, receiving her injection late last week. I'm here uh, in the waiting room. I've gotten a COVID-19 test. I've now given a lot of blood. Next up is the injection. We don't know if Gina received the vaccine or simply a placebo, but we will be watching as Gina tracks her progress. This is Bob Woodruff tracking the race for a vaccine. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.